Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome to my three takeaways episode from the Mike Swagunski interview that I just posted this past Monday. That had got to be one of the most unique interviews that I've done. I mean, first off, he's in Tisibili, Georgia, which like I know absolutely nothing about, and I've looked a little bit into it um, before I interviewed him and, and since I've interviewed him because it seems really interesting, and he was like, hey, if you're ever in Tisibili, Georgia, then, then hit me up, <laughs> and like, honestly, I kind of want to go visit him now. I mean, I haven't really done a whole lot of overseas traveling, but reading his book and just interviewing him and talking to him about his experiences has kind of like sparked a little bit of a curiosity in me in regards to maybe wanting to travel a little bit more abroad. So if you haven't listened to the episode yet, make sure that you go back and listen to it. Also, I know some of you probably have friends or family members or someone that you know who like really, really, really loves traveling and and wants to have a remote job or maybe has a remote job and, and they would love to travel a little bit more. And I would really, really highly encourage you to share with them this episode, share with his, share with them his book, Global Career, because his book is, is amazing. Like he talks exact, he gives you such practical tips. Like, yes, he gives you stories about the different places that he's gone, the different experiences that he had, the funny experiences that he's had, but he also gives you like super, super practical tips in regards to like how to get a travel visa, what you should be packing, um, exactly how to like get the right currency and, and how much money you should go in with and, and right when you get there, how much money you should take out and, and what cards you should have on you. There's so many amazing practical tips and, and how to make sure you're traveling, how to book your flights and, and how you should probably buy travel insurance and so many different things that are just like, wow, this guy makes it so much more attainable for other people, and I'll get a little bit into that in my three takeaways. So make sure you listen to the episode if you have not yet already, and if you're interested in my brand new revamped 10-week program, uh, make sure you go to nickcarrier.com slash 10-week programs. Again, for my 10-week fitness goal setting program, go to nickcarrier.com slash 10-week programs. But for now, let's get right into my three takeaways with Mike Swagunski. Takeaway number one is put yourself out of your comfort zone. And he talked about how right when he first got to New Zealand, he hitchhiked around the whole South Island of New Zealand. And he talked about how that really gave him a lot of confidence because the question that sparked this story was, what's the biggest thing that you've learned about yourself through your traveling? And, and he said, when he hitchhiked around the si South Island of New Zealand by himself, he was like, gained so much confidence from that because he was like, if I can do this, if I can do this by myself, then who knows what, what else I'm capable of? Like he thinks I'm capable of anything in life, anything in business because he got himself out of his comfort zone doing this one thing. And I know my, my brother, if he's listening, he hitchhiked or he didn't hitchhike. He hiked the entire Appalachian trail one summer. And I know that filled him with confidence to know that he can do anything. Um, because if you can do something uncomfortable in one area of life, that does transfer over to other areas of life and it prepares you for other areas of life because you get to you get more self-awareness as to how you're going to react when you're placed in an uncomfortable situation and one more quick example is I know when I quit my job when I first moved to Nashville back in 2017 and I didn't have a job for a little bit that was like a super uncomfortable situation but then like right when COVID hit and, and right when you know places started to close and and people weren't may maybe having the same incomes I like I had confidence because it's like I had been in that uncomfortable situation before, and so I feel like I have confidence now to be able to overcome this uncomfortable situation that is about to present itself. So put yourself in an uncomfort zone so that you can know how to react in all uncomfortable situations that you're going to experience moving forward. Takeaway number two is body language is universal. I think one of the <laughs> one of the questions that I was really intrigued to ask him was I was like, you've had to connect with a lot of people in all the different countries that you've, you've been in. He currently lives in Tisibili, Georgia. He's lived in Australia, New Zealand, uh, South America. He's been to 86 countries, 86 countries. And I can't remember how many cities off the top of my head, but a ton of them. And so he's had to interact with so many different kinds of people, so many different languages, so many different cultures, so many different ways of interacting. And I was like, so what's like, how do you connect with with everybody? What's something that's universal that you can use no matter what country, no matter what city you're going to? And he said, body language. And I thought that was like, I thought that was really interesting. And, and so he was talking about how like, no matter who you're interacting with, be aware of your body language, be aware of, you know, sitting up tall, be aware of smiling, be aware of, of eye contact and, and looking intrigued because body language is universal, no matter who you're trying to connect with. And, and that's something that you can use. Like if you're just meeting somebody, be aware of your body language, like smile at them, eye contact, ask questions, have good posture, look interested in that person. And then we all also talked a little bit about how when we're communicating with people online when, during this uh, 
you know, quarantine time and, and COVID time and you have a mask on, you have to be even more aware of your body language because they don't get to see your mouth. They don't get to see your nose. They don't get to see like literally the whole bottom part of your face. And so in order to make sure you're getting the right message across, you have to be even more intentional with your body language and maybe use your arms a little bit more. I use my arms all the time anyway, so it's maybe not that hard for me, but I know that when I'm coaching fitness classes, I have to be a little bit more deliberate in, in making sure I'm communicating my point across with my eyes, with my arms, and, and a little bit more intentional with my words because I have a mask on. So body language is universal. Takeaway number three is traveling and living abroad is more attainable than you think. Like, before I would have known about Mike, before I would have read his book, I would have thought that doing what he does and having that remote work would be so difficult, would take so much knowledge of different traveling things and take so much work. But honestly, like after reading his book, I'm like, that actually isn't all that unattainable. If you really want to set out to do that or to travel or to re uh, work remotely, all it takes is a little bit of commitment and a little bit of effort. And the great thing about Mike's book is he tells you exactly how to do it. He gives you so many of those practical tips that I was talking about beforehand. And he really fills you with the confidence that you can make this work. So if you're somebody out there who wants to work remotely, who wants to travel abroad and have that remote uh, remote work lifestyle, I want you to, to realize that you can make that happen, that you, you should be filled with belief from this interview. You should be filled with belief from reading his book that this thing is attainable and that you can actually go out and make it happen. But again, guys, my three takeaways. Number one is put yourself out of your comfort zone because if you can get uncomfortable, you can learn more about yourself, you can learn more about how you react, inevitably in the future, you're gonna be placed in another uncomfortable scenario and you're gonna know better how to react and how you're going to respond and that's gonna give you more confidence. Takeaway number two is body language is universal. Anytime you meet somebody, I know I'm going to start to apply this a little bit more. Anytime you meet somebody, be super aware of your body language. Smile at them. Make sure you have good posture. Look interested in them because they're going to read your body language, whether it's subconsciously or consciously, and they're going to base how much they like you off of that, to be just blunt with it. And then takeaway number three was traveling and living abroad is more attainable than you think. If that's something that you aspire to have, if that's something that you aspire to do. I want you to realize that you can make it happen. And Mike makes it that much easier through his book and, and all his YouTube videos that he posts. So I want you to make sure you go follow Mike Swigunski on, on Instagram. He's at at Swig Meets World. Again, at Swig Meets World. I hope you guys enjoy these three takeaways from Mike Swigunski. Such a unique interview from him all the way in, in Sicily, Georgia. I think that's one of the coolest things about technology. One of the coolest things about is about COVID. Like i I met a guy from Tisibili or who lives in Tisibili, Georgia, and uh, you know I never would have been able to do that without technology, and I probably wouldn't have been able to do it without COVID because we're more willing and able to like reach out to people who are who are overseas, you know. And so I just was able to, I was able to learn so many cool things from him, and and, and sparked a little bit more of a an intrigueness. That's not even a word, or a little bit of more curiosity to maybe travel abroad myself because I've seen, I, I see how much it's done for him and, and how much it's allowed him to grow personally. And I'm like, I kind of want some of that, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed these three takeaways. I hope you enjoyed the Mike Swigunski interview and start taking action on these things so you can get closer and closer to your best you.